Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at the Droid Razor Max. The Razor Max is the alternative to the Razor and adds a gigantic battery that's good for over 21 hours of talk time, so that's pretty incredible. Uh, I haven't opened this, but let me go ahead and pop the top off here. So uh, Verizon sent that along, and uh, we'll set that aside. So here's the Razor Max, and it's going to be very similar to the regular Razor, only it's not as thin, and that's to include the extended battery. The battery uh, life is supposed to be pretty incredible for all of those that have actually used the phone. So let me go ahead and see what else is in here, and then we'll take a look at the phone. So here's the wall plug. This is just a normal uh, AC to two USBs. They've been doing this recently. And then we have a micro USB, typical Motorola adapter. We also have our documentation in here for Master Your Device. Uh, product safety and warranty, consumer information, and more consumer information in a different language. So let's go ahead and set this aside and take a look at the Max itself. Now the Droid Razor Max uh, looks similar on the front. Let me go ahead and remove this. Let me get this front screen and protector off here. And this is the Max. Now, to the right of this, I actually have the original Droid Razor. So you can see on the front, they don't look too much different, except for the Motorola at the top is black on the Droid Razor Max and silver on the regular Razor. Now let's go ahead and talk about specs. I'll zoom in here a little bit. And we'll go ahead and... Now this does not have a removable battery. On the side, we do have a little door, just like the other Razor, where it holds your micro SD card uh, and your SIM card for 4G, which I'll go ahead and install after. But this this uh, SD card, let me see if I can get this out of here, uh, is a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. So good size, uh, upgradable to 32 gigabyte should you need that extra space. Now reports are saying that they get a whopping two days out of running this. Uh, one report I read said they ran a video continuously. I think uh, uh, it's Engadget said that. They ran a video continuously and it lasted 16 hours or something crazy like that just running video so it's got a 3000 or 3. Point, I'm sorry 3300 milliamp hour battery uh, for up to 21 and a half hours of talk time let me go ahead and turn it on here I'll grab the SIM card I probably should have put that in first but we'll take a look at the phone now it has a QHD screen and that's pretty good I know there's been complaints of the screen on previous devices or the previous Razer, uh, but overall it's pretty nice. It's uh, 540 by 960, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, looks good. It's, it's nice and vibrant. It's a super AMOLED advanced QHD screen is what Motorola is calling it. So there we go. It has dual 1.2 gigahertz processor in it. It's got 16 gigabytes of internal RAM with or memory along with 16 gigabyte SD card like you saw there. So it's welcome to Droid Razor, and it's going to be your typical Motorola uh, Razor, I think. But now the website for Motorola says it is ice cream sandwich upgradable. Now why they don't have it in there to begin with, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to see more phones start getting ice cream sandwich as it's great on the Galaxy Nexus. So let me go ahead and remove the SIM card. It's a micro SIM as you can see here. This is for the 4G LTE connection. Let me go ahead and turn it off. I'll put the SIM card back in. Now on this phone, it's still got that cheesy uh, feeling uh, button on the side. It's a little bit better than this one but it still feels a little loose and I don't know why they do that. The rest of the phone feels very solid and let me go ahead and put the SIM card in. We'll boot it back up and take a look at what we have here. See which way it tells you to put it in. It goes this way. You don't have a lot of room. This thing is pretty thin. And let me see if I can snap this in. It's pretty tough to get your fingers in there. There we go. It's snapped in place. Now we have a cover on the back I want to remove as well. Now this back has no battery, uh, you can't remove the battery, but they do have Kevlar on the back, which is nice, and also it has a coating similar to Liquipel on it, I guess they're saying, so it resists, uh, it resists uh, getting wet at all, if you've seen that demo. So let's turn it back on. We talked about the screen and the memory and the processor. Uh, on the back we have 
an 8 megapixel camera that records in 1080p uh, with a flash here. You can see there's your speaker. We have a microphone down here. On the side, again, we have that little door. On the front, we have a forward-facing camera. I believe it's a 1.2 megapixel. And then on the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, our USB, I'm sorry, HDMI, and micro USB. So overall, it's a typical Razer, pretty much. Now let me show you the side by side. So here's the Razer. Here's the Razer Max. So not too much of a difference. They kind of got rid of this little hump a little more and added more battery and the battery life should be pretty dramatic, uh, which I'll be testing over time. Now to give you an idea uh, of the phone itself, I'll go ahead and set it up, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at it and see if there's anything different on it. I've set up the Razer, I've restarted it, it's activated, and here's the main screen. It looks just like it did before. I'm actually downloading an update, so I'll do that in another video. I'll download it, and uh, once we review it, we'll take a look at the OS overall. But it's gingerbread. It's, it's nice, smooth. The screen feels nice. Now, to show you how thin this still is, even though it's the Razer uh, and it has the, the extra battery in it, its bulk is not too big, it's not too heavy, um, and it's a 4.3-inch screen. I didn't mention that. Uh, but on the side here, here's an iPhone 4S. And so you can see, there's really no difference. In fact, it's slightly thinner on the side uh, than an iPhone 4 is. So it's pretty impressive how thin it is and still manages to have an incredible amount of battery life uh, according to any test I've seen. So we'll go ahead and, and test that out. Uh, any 4G phone generally drains battery a lot faster than most of the others. And this is supposed to give you 20 hours plus talk time on 4G. So I don't know that I'm going to actually keep a phone call connected that long, but uh, I'll go ahead and test it out and see what kind of battery life I'm getting on real use uh, day to day. Uh, overall, it's really nice, similar to the other phone, uh, sleep, wake, and volume on this side, but just adds a little bit of thickness, which isn't a bad thing. It actually feels more comfortable in your hand uh, because it's not quite too thin. This one feels almost too thin, uh, and you don't have as much to hold on to. I know that kind of this sounds weird, but... Uh, it really does feel a little bit nicer in your hand because of that. Uh, overall, though, seems nice. First impressions are uh, it's the Droid Razor with a gigantic battery in it. So I'll test it out, like I said, and uh, we'll check it out in the later review. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.